Greetings and salutations to our very respected lecturer, Madam Mariam and Tom Rajesh. So my name is Ryan George. Today, me, myself, and also my group members, we would like to present our case study analysis for Honda Motors companies. So without further ado, let us start with these sessions. What is Honda company about? So basically, the company is a company that produces such as motorcycle, automotive, and power products that nowadays it is widely known to people as the motorcycle and car manufacturer. The company was established in September 1948, which it was established at the post-war of World War II, and the founder of the company is Soichiro Honda. It all started with the idea of making a bicycle with an engine attached, and after that, it get recognition and well received by the society. From this, Honda keep growing until today it become one of the famous company and one of the top 10 largest car manufacturer in the world. The brand of Honda itself derived from the quotes of the founder, Sochiro Honda, which is to bring joy to people is my joy, Clear, clearly shows that they can be satisfied of producing the best product to their Consumer. Greetings, I bid to Doctor and my fellow classmates. My name is Isaac, and for my part, I will be talking about pivot tables. Due to Honda being an established company, it is no doubt that information overload will be a problem that they will face throughout the business. What we recommend them to do is utilize the pivot tables from Microsoft Excel. Now here are the two types of pivot tables that I've generated from the information that I've gathered, which is um, um, revenue from the products of each year and country. So as you can see here, this is the pivot table, similar items, but the only difference is that there's this um, slicer and also the graph. So for the slicer, uh, why is it important? Why is it beneficial to have a slicer? Is it will help you to um, specify the uh, specify on the information that you want to look at. Like for example, okay, let's say I want to look at the revenues for only automobile, and it will only show the revenues of automobile. And the same thing here. The there will be changes in not only the pivot table but also the graph. So the same thing with financial services and so on. Okay, I think that is all from me. I will pass the next part to my other group members. Thank you. Greetings to Dr. Asis. So now we move on. On what happened to this Honda's company? So by having this observation, by using this descriptive analysis. So here are the results that already come out. The summary here that from 2019 and 2023 so I will highlight two parts here only two items okay, which are the skewness and the mean value so what are these indicators? we look first on the skewness both of these here shows positive value of skewness which the shape later on will skew to the right and as you can see the mean value are different what are this means to us so it actually shows the trend revenue of Honda's company where the 2023 mean value are lower than 2029 which already shows the trend of revenue are declined as decrement and we move on the summary on what happened to the bell curve you can see both of this year looks like the same because as the skewness I mentioned earlier are positive, but actually the difference are come from the mean value, which shows a decline trend of this Honda's region revenue. And I will come out with these two problems here, this statement here, which the decline trend of revenue, and you can see the impact of decision making from the region observation of Honda's company. These are the problem. So, from this, I will show you on how to make 
to generate this file stuff using the Microsoft Excel. Hello there. So we move on on how we the step to create the bell curve. So here I highlight what are the needs, the step we need to do. So first of all, we need to have the info. So here like my part, the observation in our group, observation on regions revenue, the country. So here we get the info. Like I highlight here. Next step two, we create the summary of descriptive analysis. Well, you see. We go to data analysis, descriptive statistic, and we put all the info here, the input range where the revenue of 2019. So we do everything and the summary will come out like this. So the info of the descriptive we have means, division, skewness, and so on. Next, step three, we need to create the bin. What actually bins refer here? It helps to organize the data into meaningful intervals and facilitates the interpretation and visualization of the distribution. And here, it is an essential step in the process of creating a histogram using Excel tools. So there's a formula of it. So we go through, and after we have this, we create histogram summary. We go to data analysis, we find the histogram, and here, that's why we need bin. So we put the bin everything here, and the input of the revenue, and we go through, and we get this the summary of it and after all of this we highlight the summary the frequency we have here and we go to the insert we select chart and here scatter with smooth line that's why all of this we have our result like this easy right these are the steps on it so same with the 2023 so everything is given from the equation but as bonus i get an additional info of the 2023 which also result like this so this is how we create the bell curve using the microsoft excel hello there okay now we will continue with the problems so in the case study the problems that been faced by honda motor companies is first the sales decline actually there are many problems that we can identify within the case study. However, today we will be focusing on only one problem, which is the sales. And there is a subtopic for this problem, which the revenues and operating, operating profit declines, and also the unit sales decline for each region. So that is the problems that we can identify within the case studies. And now, we will be providing the solutions and as well as the templates that might be benefit for Honda Matter companies. So we will continue with the solutions in the next slide. We have reached into solution sections. So in this section, there will be two presenters, me and also Fikris. The first recommendation that I want to propose is that the revenues and operating profit forecast and providing some recommendations for their companies on how to ensure that their revenue can increase, their operating profit can increase, and so on. Okay, now let's take a look into the Excel template that have been created. Okay, hello. So here is the Excel template that I mentioned earlier. Now, let's take a quick review about this template. So this is a template for revenue and operating forecasting, and I have included the scenario analysis. Let's check one by one. As we can see here, um, at this A sections, I call it A sections. This is a section for um, to put the informations then the Excel will automatically uh, calculate all the value. For example, in 2022, for the revenue and operating profit, I put a dummy data here. So I put it first. Give me a moment. I put the dummy data. So, 
after I put a dummy data here, we can see the value for the predictions table here change. So it's very dynamic. So actually, any data is um, can be filled here based on the needs of the companies. So I want to share how I get the value for the predictions. Now let's take a look in the predictions table in the year three. Actually, I take the year two revenues, then I multiply it by the the growth here, the percentage of growth. Then divide by one one hundred, so I get the proportions of the percentage. Then the value for the revenue in the year two, I add it up with the proportion of percentage. So that is how I get the what it called um, the predictions value and. This method that I use, it apply with all of the regions. So that how the forecasting actually works. And for your information, this value is actually referring to the um, to the assumptions that I met ten percent for the current cases, what the company currently face. Yes. And now I want to move into the scenario analysis. So we have three cases here. Kita, I'm sorry. We have best cases or referring like what I mentioned earlier, the current cases. Then we have best cases or good cases, and we have worst worst cases. Each cases will reflect the value differently. So let's take a look into the dynamics of this template. We have we have a list of number here, and the indicator actually which one referring to base i'm sorry one referring to current cases um, the two referring to good cases and worst cases the last one now we will take a look how the predictions tables will change when we uh, we choose any of this number so the number one actually it is referring to the current cases so i put 10 percent it is just a benchmark for the current cases. Now, the, we can see in the year 3, it is increased until year 5. Now, we change the scenario into 2. So, we can see the values um, that increase is larger. Because I assume in the good cases, um, Honda companies perform very well. So I put 15% for the revenue and operating growth. So yeah, the, the gap of the value increase is, is, is big as compared to the previous um, scenario, with, which is the current cases. Now, we take a look into the worst cases. So as we can see, the worst cases uh, for the predictions, we have the assumptions that when there's an economic recession or anything that could affect the financial performance of the Honda of Honda companies, we can see the assumptions here. The predictions decline. The year three until year five, the value for revenue and operating profit decline. So yeah, that how this. Um, template actually works. Now, I would like to suggest some recommendations. First, a diversification of revenue streams. This by focusing on expanding the revenue from other segments such generators and OEM engines. Secondly, they need to focus on product portfolio analysis. So how? This by conducting a comprehensive analysis of the product portfolio in the automobile business to, ident to identify which areas need the improvement. That one is the market research. This is very crucial because as a seller, we want to identify what the customer needs so we can align with the needs. The fourth one is the cost management. So cost management, um, each of the region, they can start to implement cost management strategies to reduce the impact of decline in sales. This might involve uh, renegotiating each of the contracts or optimizing production process. 
We now moving on to the forecasting of unit cells and scenario analysis of Honda Company. As you can see through this excel here, starting from the left side, which is the information of the unit sold by region segments, which is Japan, North America, Europe, and Asia for a two years period, starting from 2021 to 2022. As those information above is the original cases based on the Honda case study questions, and below that table of information is the scenario analysis. As you can see here, it shows that the live cases of unit souls which representing the original data set taken from the actual case study, which is the original segment information. Meanwhile, on the same table below has three different scenario analysis that we assume for the forecasting of the unit cell, which are the base case, the best cases, and the worst case. Now, we move on to the forecasting analysis of Honda unit cells, and for each scenario analysis, which is best, best, and worst case, we put the indicators as 1 for the base case, 2 for the best case, and 3 for the worst case. So it will be easy for us to analyze. When we take a look of the Japan at the first place, in the base case scenario, which is the live cases taken from the original data, we can see for the first two years of 2021 and 2022, the amount of unit cells is increased from 1.1 million to 1.3 million. For the prediction year, based on our calculation for the forecasting period stated here, we can assume that the unit sale of Honda is slightly increased by year starting from 2023, which will be 1.4 million up to 1.7 million in 2025. Same scenario is happens for Europe and Asia, which is the unit sales of original years recorded in 2021 to 2022, which slightly increased from 1.3 million in 2021 to 1.4 million in 2022 for Europe and 10.2 million in 2021 to 11 million in 2022 in Asia. And for forecasting years that we already calculated, which shows that the result of major increase in the numbers of unit cells on both regions from Europe and Asia. And take a note that the Asia is the most large numbers of unit cells that has been recorded so far from the original data set. But when we take a look of the North America, there would be a different story. As you can see, there starting from 2021 to 2022, there is a slight drop in unit cells from 4.4 million to 4.2 million. And for the forecasting years that we calculated using the same formula, we can see the unit cells is slightly increased by the year starting from 2023 to 2025, which is the number of unit cells is 4.6 million to 5.6 million. When we switch the second indicators, which is present the best cases, we can see the unit cells of the region is increasing from the original years in 2021 and 2022 to the forecasting years, which is in 2023 to 2025, which in this case shows that the best case scenario, the unit cells of Honda is increasing productively due to the several factors of optimistic economy and the good market cycle. For the worst case scenario, the things will be opposite as for the Japan, Europe, and Asia, there is still a slight increase of unit sales for the first two years and then it slowly drops in forecasting three years period. But different story for North America where the unit sales of Honda is totally decreased by years starting from the original years in 2021 to 2022 till to the forecasted years in 2023 to 2025, which is the total of unit sales of 4.4 million in 2021 is dropped to 3.6 million in 2025, which indicates there is a negative impact from the pessimistic economy and the fluctuation in sales market. Here is a few recommendations that related to the problems from the analysis, as for the first one is economic condition as the purchasing power of consumers is a significant factor as well. This happens when the disposable income is high, people are more likely to buy a new cups, which gives a significant impact on the unit sales. Next is market competition, where the action and strategies of other automotive manufacturers can affect Honda's market share and sales, price competition, new product launch, and marketing efforts by other competitors may influence consumers' choice. And consumer trends is also one of the factors. The changes in population, size, age, distribution, and urbanization can impact the demand of the automobiles. As for the conclusion, the factors that contribute to the decline 
is came from the first competition from the other brand of manufacturer company that will create an alternative choice to the consumer and thus the consumer tend to choose the other companies such as consumer tend to choose to use Toyota instead of Honda. Second is that they are unable to fulfill the consumer wants and thus the consumer also tend to choose of buying or purchasing other brand to replace Honda. And last is the policy such as tax introduced that will make the price of buying Honda's product considers unrelevant for the consumers and they tend to buy the local products. The best solution to be applied is that they can analyze their product portfolio to improve the weakness of the product and enhance the strengths of their product. The second is that market research so that they will get boosts of placing the right place of their product to get demand from their consumer. So that's all from us.